Good morning guys, this is day two in London and we're gonna get ready together again. So we're gonna do this glam. Uh, I'm gonna show you what I'm wearing today. Yeah, let's go get it. We're celebrating yum during this whole trip. The UK had a fragrance, so gotta look delicious because this fragrance is a beast. It's the best Gomo fragrance ever. So we're gonna turn it up. Hopefully you like this glam. Keep watching if you're interested. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you wanna see more of my video and support my channel. See you soon, guys. Good morning, guys. So, this is London day two. I'm losing my voice. I look horrible, puffy. So there's a lot of work to do. I just wash my hair. So we have a big glam to transform this face. Again, I'm gonna be using Face Start uh, foundation. It's the only foundation I took on this trip because this does the job very well. I use this as my moisturizer, as La Roche Posay, and this is actually like helping to um, to heal all my acne scars and to keep my acne in check. My dermatologist recommended this, and it really does uh, work. Obviously, like it takes time. You gotta be patient. So I'm gonna be using this. Let's go. I love this. This has a very nice finish and like full coverage. Honestly, it stays all day. So usually I just put it all over my face, roughly, and then I take a beauty blender and I would just blend it. It just gives me a bit more, like it just blends better than a brush. And it just doesn't go everywhere. And when you use a beauty blender, just dab onto your skin, it should be a bit wet. Concealer, same as usual. Sorry, I like to use those two lately. Huda Beauty mixed with Catrice. One is more brightening and one is just, you know, amazing. They're both great. Together, even better. I'm gonna put a, a balm. This is from Hourglass, just to nourish my lips for now. Because I think I'm gonna do red lipstick. And this is really gonna help me prep my skin, my lips. I love this balm. I'm crazy. I'm gonna use Rare Beauty Blush. This is the shade uh, Encourage, Encourage. Not sure how I say it. This is usually what I use. Um, it's a nice, very nice pink, long lasting uh, blush. You can see, very nice. I usually put a bit more. It just makes you look like fresh. I mean, I always say that about blush but especially cream blush they just make you look much more fresh as you see i look happy now i'm gonna tan my skin with nars i use this all the time as you guys know if you follow me this is just gonna help me to tan that skin a bit more i live in dubai but you would never guess right because i'm never tan because i don't have time to go tanning so i need to fake it so i'm gonna bake using huda beauty banana powder I'm gonna go a bit heavy today because I really want my makeup to stay as long as it can. We're doing a kind of a press tour promoting the fragrance Yum, which smells amazing. I've done a review all about it if you're interested, guys. But well, this fragrance is so good, like no joke. No joke, it's like, it's really delicious. Oh my gosh, like I love sweets. For me, this is like, wow. So I, anyway, I just want my makeup to really last. So don't get scared. Especially under my eyes because I'm really tired. Um, so this is really gonna help me. A little bit here, a little bit here. Okay, I just did my brow of camera and I'm gonna be doing a liner. Yes, I'm gonna be doing a liner using the creamy brown by it's a sorry, it's called very brown, very brown creamy core uh, by Huda Beauty. I love this liner. I also have a review about it if you're interested. Uh, but it's basically what I'm using on a daily basis. So I'm just gonna do a quick uh, and I know I got no me how guys so bear with me but that's the thing this this thing is so easy like even if you mess it up it's just so easy to fix and I love to use cream pencil because you don't have to be so precise you can just do like a smudge line and you're good to go so usually I do like a rough um like a rough line and I take a small brush and I go over it. And this uh, pencil is very long lasting, but you do have a bit of room to smudge it. So you have like maybe like 30 seconds when you can really still work the the liner uh, before it dries and stay all day. Uh, so it's it's really like easy to, to work with. Obviously mascara Huda Beauty Legit Lashes. 
as you can see this does this this is everything mascara is everything and just i feel like i have fake eyelashes every time i wear it i did a small mistake here but i'm gonna wait until it dries to take it out to remove it <laughs> If you remove your mascara when it's wet, if you mess it up, it's gonna smudge everywhere. But it, when it dries, it kind of become um, dries and that makes sense. But it kind of uh, you can scrap it out. I think this is how you say it. I'm gonna remove my powder. When I remove it, I like to also kind of press it in the skin. But look how bright and smooth is now my under eyes and skin. Same here. I'm gonna be using a bit more blush. This is Charming Cherry by Huda Beauty. It's like a nice uh, purple-ish purple -ish, um, shade just on the apple of my cheek to look extra happy <laughs> and fresh. This is by um, Blowish. Now I'm just gonna remove it with my nails. As you can see, all good. Okay, I'm gonna remove um, my lip balm. And I'm going to go over my lips with my beauty blender and I'm gonna do red lipstick. So I'm gonna be using the shade 402 by Makeup Forever. And this is like red, red, red. I love this formula, honestly, like one of the best lipstick I ever tried. Uh, and the applicator is just perfect. It's like a tiny applicator that just embraces your lips perfectly. So let's do it. And I go over like a few layer. Sorry. So yeah, just putting a few layer on top of each other to really get like an intense color. And it doesn't feel like I have layers, by the way. It's very pigmented. I would say like two layers is enough. It's so pretty. Okay, here's the deal. Because today is all about yum and this strip is all about yum i do want to add a touch of um this color into my makeup it's very hard to match uh, green shade and red because oftentimes you look can look a bit christmasy so i don't know what to do here i, I have two ideas i want to do either a dot under my eyes or a dot in the inner corner of my eyes my gut tell me to go under my eyes because it, it could be cute like a gem type of look uh but in my, i might mess up so let's try it with you guys and let's see what happened so i'm just gonna go here do you see that i guess it's a bit weird yeah so just like a dot what do you guys think is it doing anything to my life is it weird is it distracting it's kind of cute i don't know what to do i think i'm gonna leave it it's adding something without adding too much. I don't know. It's cute. It's just a little wink wink for our baby yum. Because uh, it's honestly like best gourmand fragrance ever. So yeah, I'm going to do my hair. I'm going to get changed, show you what I'm wearing today. And I'm going to go. Okay, I just finished my hair. I use um, a Dyson. And that's it. <laughs> and this is how I get the wave. If you want a tutorial, let me know. It's actually super easy. And the result is... Quite nice. So this is what I'm wearing today, guys. My big jacket, and underneath, I got this very cute top from Pull and Bear, a mom jean, high waist, a cardigan on top because it's cold in London, and my big puffy jacket because it looks cool and keeps you warm, and you can use it as a blanket, which I've been doing. So really into it. So that's the look of the day. Hope you like it, and I'm gonna go. Bye, guys.